Two Sundays, championed by your Southern California Toyota dealers. Well, it is time for this week's STEAM Sunday Profile. And today we meet a man who's made it his mission to understand the brain of a beetle. And Craig got to touch the beetle, right, Craig? <laughs> it was Craig? really cool. Yeah, yeah, I went over to visit him. He's at Caltech, and uh, that's where the scientist is. He's a bug scientist, and he calls, uh, he looks at the social networking of all these bugs and the powerhouse that it is. A beetle that steals the scent of an ant to trick an entire colony into thinking he's one of them. This is the most single most interesting biological phenomenon I've, I've encountered. I have to find a way to, you know, make this pay the bills. And indeed, he has found a way to use his science education to land the job of his dreams. Joseph Parker is an entomologist, affectionately known as the bug man of Caltech. Hi, I'm Joe Parker. Welcome to Caltech. Hi, thanks. I'm Craig Herrera. We brought the uh, Toyota Mobile Weather Lab oh, it's out. Awesome. Uh, so want, awesome. You want to come to see your lab? Look, let's go and have a look. Joe's lab is teeming with life, and it can be a little unnerving. They can nip, they can have a bit of a bite. But Joe studies insects anyway. This guy, he's a Jerusalem cricket. Joe calls him his lab pet. It's just this amazing like mechanical object that's actually alive. It's a sort of feat of biological engineering produced by evolution that is just remarkable. Joe's passion for insects started in childhood, and he's been collecting and studying them ever since. I guess the big question is, have you ever been stung? <laughs> Oh, yeah, of course, all the time. I get stung, bitten. The pain of being stung by a wasp is, you know, nothing in comparison to how, you know, fascinated I am by insects. The insect that fascinates him the most is this. It's called the rogue beetle, and it's the great masquerader of the insect world. You can draw parallels between what these beetles are doing and many aspects of naughty human behavior. <laughs> rogue beetles pull off the near impossible. They sneak into ant colonies and take up residence. Why so impressive? Inside an ant colony, everyone's the same, and intruders are not tolerated at all. Ants are coated with chemicals other ants can smell with their antenna. To hijack that system, these beetles physically groom the ants to steal those chemicals and smear them onto their own bodies, and so they can then, you know, get a free pass. So instead of getting attacked in the colony, oops, he's getting attacked. The beetles are embraced as though they are family. It's like a huge bounty that you can access if you can break that code and get inside. Joe says studying how the insect world's outsiders become insiders could help scientists understand how humans form tribes. And there's a demand for that. It touches on really basic questions about how the brain works, how we recognize recognize each other, how chemicals can be used to manipulate nervous systems. As a kid, Joe had no idea his passion for bugs could lead to scientific breakthroughs in people. The lesson from his success? If you think something's interesting, then just go with it and you'll be the master of that thing. And don't let anyone tell you that what you're studying is, you know, kind of pointless and insignificant. If it's really kind of in your heart, you'll turn it into something. Wow. That's so cool, that Craig. That's so cool. That, that, that cricket is the size of my pinky, by the way. <laughs> That's huge. <laughs> Pretty impressive. For more information on Dr. Joe Parker's lab and other careers in science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics, go to our website, kcal9.com slash steam. <laughs> Isn't that cool? It is so creepy. Yeah. Yet so fascinating right. that, that they, they can, can take the... that scent to infiltrate the, the group. And it was interesting really to watch cool. them do it, too, the way yeah. they just kind of... You know, they were attacked at one moment, the next moment they're part of the colony. Yeah, they like, were in disguise. They were camouflaged. Yeah. yeah. It was impressive. Really cool. <laughs> Let's see what it does. Yeah. Uh,